All right, guys, good morning, everybody, or afternoon or evening, wherever you are. I'm going to do the recap today. I had a really bad day, and, um, you know... Hi, thanks for watching my video. My name is Andrew Aziz, and I'm the author of How to Day Trade for a Living. In this channel, I'm showing my daily trades on the U.S. stock market. I hope that you enjoy the videos. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and welcome to my channel. Today was one of those days that I really didn't see much and I started forcing trades that it wasn't my trade book and th these are the typical days that really uh, you know uh, makes you a very very uh, bad trader and really wipes out a lot of your profit like I had one really good trade on CRM which was a thousand bucks and uh, then I did a really bad trade on the snap and I, after that for hours I didn't see anything and eventually started pushing trading on NVIDIA and I just couldn't handle it I did it a couple of times and eventually really lost it and you know, a day that could be, a, you know, you know, after these two would be $900 loss, turned out to be a $7,000 loss. And I'm going to walk you through what was exactly the problem and uh, how it happened. But again, some days are just, just, you know, and I knew it from the beginning that this day is not really my day. Now let's go through that. So the first trade was CRM. Obviously, I had the earning yesterday, so it was gapping up significantly. And at the open, I saw a huge ask. Again, I couldn't take the screenshot. I wasn't fast enough. I went long for one minute to pin range break up. You know, a little bit earlier, the candlestick closes. And as you see here, really popped up. And uh, really nicely, I wanted to sell my positions here, but I've, I was pressing the wrong button all the time. And, you know, by mistake, you know, essentially, uh, you know, a mistake in the hotkey. And I didn't really partial around here. It did, uh, what it did? Oh, eventually I got out of it completely. So it was just a quick scalp for 900 bucks. And, you know, I didn't even wait for the break even because uh, it was just trading really, really badly and choppy. And I really didn't like the order for one price action on that. And then somebody mentioned the snap in the chat that the snap is running. I quickly saw a snap and it was actually having a really nice run. And I have no idea why I jumped in so, you know, in the middle of nowhere. This is just the worst place that you can enter your position. Too far from the VWAP and, you know, it was just, I didn't even know what the news is, order flow wasn't great. And I started adding to that to the Weave app and then I had a really big position. And this is a really bad situation that you shouldn't really add to your uh, losing position. And I was hoping that I can get a bounce from the Weave app. If I was entering here, just at the Weave app instead of this one, it would have been a nice pop, you know, from 1380 to 1405, 20 cents is not bad for the stock that is there for $10. But anyways, I had a big order. As soon as it popped up, I said, you know, fuck it, I'm gonna get out of it because this is really bad. and. Uh, you know, I don't like that uh, this, uh, I don't really like that uh, that I added and I had a huge position and you know, I really didn't like that it sold off and the order flow was dead and really, there was nothing and you know, that turned out to be a loss. And you know, after that, I started looking at NVIDIA and NVIDIA was really, you know, bounced from S4 a little bit and you know, was selling off and then I started to taking this double bottom on that. And uh, you know, this I saw that this is a double bottom, I took long, went up, I gotta stop that. So that was the first trade. And then I saw that it's establishing another double bottom. I went long again and uh, it came down. I added more and then I got to stop that. And so that was the second trade that it was really, really bad on me. And it bounced back and I said, okay, I'm going to take it for the third time. And, uh, you know, I went for the third time. It popped up a little bit. It came down and I got out of stopped out. So essentially, this was the one trade that I did. This is the second trade that I did. And this is the fourth trade that I did. I came actually. So, so one didn't work two didn't work and the three actually came out of the break even my biggest loss was in the second trade because as you see i added instead of getting a stop that i added in there and eventually it's gonna bounce but uh it's just giving me a hard time and you know the market is really weak now you know i was looking at the 15 minute high you know this doji was something that i was really hoping that to get that doji was the 15 minute high but it just doesn't have that much of a momentum now. Market is really weird. The spy is kind of uh, flat, only 0.20 percent. IWM is barely up, uh, so market really doesn't have much of a momentum. And today was one of those days that I really should have. Even you know, extreme reversals when the crossover happens is something that uh, you know I was always wondering. It looks like it's really trying to bottom here and might squeeze up, but I just don't want to keep uh, trading it because I'm losing money on that. And I'm gonna end my day with this uh, bad loss. And, you know, it is part of the trading, unfortunately. A lot of good trading happened this morning uh, with the community. Brian had a really good day, um, but he left. Uh, Paris had a really, really good day. Paris, I think, shorted CRM around here. Uh, he did, uh, you know, she shorted CRM right around the web and he got this big move on that. But unfortunately, I just, yeah, I couldn't really do that. 
Anyways, uh, have a good day, guys. That's part of trading. You know, there are days that uh, you make mistakes and uh, you lose. Um, I'm still uh, pretty green for the week. All the way, guys. Ciao.